Okay, welcome to Christine's Corner. I have really some special guests today. You'll love them. They dance and they sing. Um, Joel Melendez, who's behind me with his group, is going to introduce and tell the history of Capoeira. I've been trying to practice that. So uh, it's not my language, but I'm trying. How did I do? Great. Oh, yay. <laughs> so I'm going to introduce um, Joel Melendez to you, and he's going to tell you the history. Come on up, Joel. Uh, thank you, Christine. Yep. So capoeira originated in Brazil by African slaves. They weren't allowed to do any training or movement, so they developed, they disguised the art in capoeira, of capoeira, into a dance. Uh, of course, to have a dance, you need the music and you need the singing and all that. Uh, capoeira was illegal for many years in Brazil and was until 1930s that became legal to practice and a national sport. Uh, what we're going to do today is just showing um, what is capoeira about. And I have my friends here that are going to introduce themselves. Hello everyone, my name is Christina. I'm Carla. Okay. My name is Wally. And I'm Yaya. So we're going to play the traditional instrument that we use for capoeira, and we're going to be singing some songs in Portuguese. This, what I have in my hand, is called the beating bow, and it's played with a rock like this. And people always say, you can hold it, you can play it. In the other hand, I have a little uh, shaker that we call uh, kashishi, and this sounds like So we're going to play some uh, music in the beginning, and then we're going to demonstrate what is the dance of capoeira, all about it. Um, you can help us by clapping huh, and singing with us, all right?
is what we do. This is capoeira. Uh, uh, martial art disguised as a dance and have the music of all of that. Uh, for a sec. Uh, if you want to try capoeira at home, all that you need to do is get the basic move of capoeira. It's called the jing. You don't need much space. You just need to be able to go from one side to the next. And of course the rest is kicks and movement that goes with the music. Um, as I say, capoeira originated in Brazil by descendants of African slaves. So capoeira roots are in Africa, but developed fully as we know it in Brazil. Um, also, uh, let me see. All the instruments that uh, you see here, we call this the atabaque. It's a drone uh, with a different style of any other drone. As you see, you play uh, standing up. Uh, we also have the beating bows and the pandeiros that give the rhythm to the dancers so they are come together in the dance. As you see, we switch the instrument and we play the game in different, uh, with different people. And we can continue for hours like this, um, switching instrument. Uh, the music uh, contain a lot of the history too. The songs are all in Portuguese. All the movement that we do in Capoeira and in Brazil, Brazilian Portuguese, um, it's an art where Constant movement is the key. That way your body keep in balance. And as I say, it's only one movement that originate all the other movement in capoeira. We call it the jinga. Uh, our group trained in a, a martial arts studio in West Hartford. It's called Plus One, and it's in West Hartford. Uh, classes are Monday, Thursdays, and Saturdays uh, at 7.45. If you want to uh, come and check it out, try Capoeira, come, feel free to uh, stop by. Um, uh, thank you again, Christine, for having us. And I guess if we have any... Uh, um. So, Joel, that was, and all of you, that was fantastic. I Thank loved you. it. Um, we have five minutes left. Maybe you can, uh, I know you named the drum, and then it's different. Uh, you say the name? Maybe this one right here, did you say? What's, what's this one? What's that here? Oh, this is the Kashi Chi, I think. because we have all these things. Believe it or not, if people say, like, if you can hold this instrument, you can mm -hmm. play it. Because oh, it's- Oh, is that a stem? Yeah, this is a little rock that you used to actually change. Yeah. Um, the, the, the part in the back is called cabasa, and half a hole. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard it's also a, a company for, for all the things. When you strike, you make a sound as well, so. Yeah. And the rock goes against the string? The rock goes against the string. When the rock is pressing really hard, the sound is like sharp, and there is another sound that the rock slightly touch the string. We call that the encostado. And then the next one is completely open where the rock is not touching in. Wow, interesting sound. Um, yeah, have you ever made one of these? Or? We actually make them. Uh, we you make did. ourselves. Wow. In fact, I have some that is I- Is that a gourd? 
Yeah, this is a, uh, a regular. It's empty, a oh, hollow gourd. Yes, beer, beer house gourd. Okay. I actually grew some in my own garden. Oh, wow. I actually forced That's these guys now. I yeah. 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 Forced these guys to yeah. make their building bows. You can also build. You can build the drum? He can also build, yes. he can build the drum? Wow. Yes. So, yes. Um, Do you have a website? Yes, um, our website is uh, Jinga Brasil CDO. Okay. And it's uh, in the page. It's, uh, it's Jinga Brasil CDO. And it's in. Well, I tried very hard to say Capoeira. Yes, it's, it's <laughs> difficult word. It's difficult word. Yeah. It's Capoeira. And it's. Uh, it's a word that means the area that the slave used to use to train. To train? Yes. So this is how they fight, is doing this? Yes. They actually have sounds in the instrument that allow them to know that if somebody, when the capoeira was illegal, yeah. if somebody that they didn't know was approaching, by changing the beat a little bit, will yeah. tell the players to uh, stop kicking and do more dancing, ah. so they were very yeah. clever. Yes, yes. Very clever. And always the instrument. So the person playing the instrument has to always be alert and communicating with the players as well. Wow, very interesting. Uh, so what were those uh, days that um, people can get more information? Um, we can't tell them to come down, but um, for more information, it's in West Hartford on what street? It's a uh, tallest street. It's uh, tallest street. Yes. Okay. And number it's, uh, close to BJ's. It's close nine, to BJ's. Nine, 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 nine tallest street. Nine. Right. Uh, I'm pronouncing tallest street. Right? Yeah. 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 Tallest street. <laughs> oh, we both yeah, have. Yeah, we both have. <laughs> you see. Um, um. Yeah. So it's not just me. How long have you been doing this? I've been training capoeira for 22 years. Wow, um, 22 years? Yes. Wow. Um, I uh, just heard about it the past few years. Yeah. I uh, um, seen you at um, uh, actually Rockwell Park in Bristol. Yes, that's And you're on yes. stilts. Oh, that's Way up high, you were a pirate. Yes, and yes. That's pretty cool. Your, um, your wife does. That uh -huh. she does still working too. Yeah. yeah. People always ask me, oh, how 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 are you able to do that stuff? Yes. And I always say, well, Good capoeira gives you balance and all uh, that. So yeah. you apply capoeira to your everyday life stuff. Uh. I always tell my students that uh, capoeira doesn't take anything away of what you believe or oh. or anything like that. Capoeira religion, just adds, right. yes, yeah. just add to whatever sport you practice or whatever you believe. Capoeira just adds, add to your movement or to if you do a sport. That's great. I like that it's slow, almost like Tai Chi, but not Tai Chi. Yes. But, um, yes. Yeah, very good. Very oh, interesting. Yes. Uh -huh. um, thank you. Thank you all Thank you. for coming. Thank you so much. Um, absolutely wonderful. Your sounds, your singing, your dancing, your musical instruments. So um, thank you for coming to watch Christine's Corner. Love you. Welcome, I'm Nick Augustino. I'd like to welcome you to the Clam Box, where we do seafood our way. We got lobster roll, fried clams, fish and chip, fried shrimp, and our famous onion rings. We put a lot of precaution into the safety for you and your family. Not only do we use plexiglass at the catch register and sanitizer, we all wear gloves and we all keep a six foot distancing and everybody must wear a mask. We carry all the options. We got DoorDash, Grubhub, Uber Eats, and of course, we got Curbside where we bring it right to your car. Online ordering is available at clamboxnewbritain.com or by calling us at 860-357-3118. The Clambox, 586 West Main Street, New Britain.